I don't want to be normal. I want to be, like she says, you want to be an outlier when it comes to things like that. Hello friends, welcome to Freedom Homestead. My name is Tangi. I'm a 42-year-old mother of two and wife of almost 24 years. We live in Western Kentucky where we try to grow as much of our own food as we can and I am on a health journey with the help of a functional nutritionist and personal trainer. I am trying to heal my body using food as my medicine. Please join us and welcome to Wellness Wednesday friends welcome to freedom homestead and welcome to wellness wednesday my name is tangy and wellness wednesday over the years for me has been um, a time where i check in with my freedom homestead family um, just to be accountable on uh, my weight loss journey and um, over the last couple of years when i do wellness wednesday it seems to change a little bit my my goals as I learn things, my goals change. Um, as new seasons of life happen, they change. And so this new season of Wellness Wednesday is definitely going to be a lot different than it has been in the past. If those are things that interest you, I invite you to hit subscribe. This is going to be different. Um, so if you've been following us for a while, um, and if you caught any of um, our Wellness Wednesdays that we had back, um, at the beginning of summer, uh, me and my friends, Constance, Julie, and Anna, they all have wonderful channels and I will link those down below as well as the Beyond Labels Book Club playlist. We use Wellness Wednesdays to go through a book that all of us had purchased when uh, we went to the Homesteaders of America Business Conference back in January of this year. And we just thought it would be really awesome to go through it together, talk about our thoughts, talk about what we learned, our big takeaways, and it was awesome. And so I really hope that you check out that book and I will put an affiliate link to that book down below. It is very eye-opening, um, as well as, like I said, the playlist so you can go back and see some of the discussions that we had. Um, so that was the last season of Wellness Wednesday and a lot of you have been asking me to bring it back. And, um, but because of some things that have been going on, this is going to be a very interesting journey and I'm excited to share it with you because I hope this helps some, someone, if it's one person, then, um, then the things that I have to share and get really personal, um, will be worth it. So let me give you a little bit of, um, some backstory here. So after we ended Beyond Labels, um, and we ended it. Uh, we, tr we tried to get through the last few chapters really quickly because we were coming into garden season and we knew it was going to be really busy for all of us. So we ended it and then, um, so, you know, we go through the summer, we're harvesting, we're growing, we're doing all the things. And then um, last month, um, if you've been catching some of my grocery hauls, I have been hinting that I have some things going on and that I was going to be watching what I was eating. So if you can't tell by the haul, I am back on keto, you guys. I am having um, some more issues that I know that keto can help me with, not only losing weight, but getting some other things under control. And we can talk about that some other time. I guess now is the time to, to discuss that with you. So here is where I'm going to invite the men folk to either turn this off or leave um, because I am going to be discussing the woman's body and the things that we go through and um, you know that will just make me less uncomfortable and you less uncomfortable if you just go ahead and <laughs> leave this to the ladies okay. I have my my cycles tend to be regular um, and they've always been fine and regular and no big deals up until about probably 10 years ago. They started changing in the frequency and in the heaviness of the flow. Always regular, right? Like always, um, you know, pretty much on time. Um, very rarely was I ever late or whatever. This last month, it was very different. First, I was three and a half weeks late, which is very unusual for me. Okay, well, I am 42. And maybe this is the season that I've been hearing about my whole life. This is the, we're entering the perimenopausal threshold maybe. Um, that's kind of what I was thinking. I also knew, you know, my, my eating has not been that great. Maybe I need to get back on track. Um, and I think that's one of the cool things about the homestead journey is you learn how much 
food plays a role in your overall health and how your body functions. And so um, that's just automatically where my brain goes to is like, okay, well, you're not eating that great. You need to get back on track. So, um, so I did, I decided to go back to keto because that's what I know to me. Keto is a wonderful tool to have in your belt, um, to, to get your health and things on track. And then I also reached out to my cousin, Tashana. Tashana is a certified, um, physical trainer and she's awesome. She works with women. She has a, a really handy app that she sends your workouts to. And I'm like, okay, lady, we need to um, get some things straightened out because, I'm off balance somehow because I'm very late on my period and that's just really weird. So, so she starts sending me workouts, I start tracking my food and then the next thing you know, within less than a week, I start my period. So that's awesome. And then about the second day of my cycle, it is very uncomfortable. I'm having cramp, like very uncomfortable cramps and not just like where you normally have cramps, but I was having it in my back, in my side. Um, I was passing very large clots. It, my flow was very heavy. Like it had never been that heavy except for after I had my kids. Like, you know, it was very heavy. And so I knew something was off. And so I called my doctor and um, I talked to a nurse over the phone and she said, um, because this of course happens on a Friday, like at the end of the day, right? Like that's typically how it goes. Uh, and she said, um, if you, she said, just go ahead and monitor your cycle the rest of the, through the weekend. And then we want to see you Monday morning. And, and I told her, I said, you know, the pain's not un unbearable. Um, and I, and I'm not hem hemorrhaging. Like it's not running down my leg and filling up my shoes. I'm just very uncomfortable. And the flow is very heavy. And she said, okay, so just monitor it through the weekend, take it easy, we'll see you here on Monday. And I said, okay. Well, then I also reached out, if you guys remember, during our Beyond Labels book club, we uh, there was one episode we brought on Heather Cohen. She's a functional nutritionist, and she also joined us just about every week um, in the comments. She is very knowledgeable about nutrition and how to use food as your medicine. She has a wonderful testimony um, on how she was able to heal her body through food, um, getting through cancer, autoimmune disease. She is amazing. And like I said, just extremely knowledgeable. So I also reached out to her because even though I wasn't sure what was going on, I knew that I needed someone with more knowledge about food than what I had. And I also know that my doctors don't have a clue about nutrition and they will even tell you that because they, that's just not something they spend a lot of time in medical school over. And um, on Instagram, just sent her a message and I'm like, hey, I think I've got something going on. I could really use some advice. And she's like, yes, absolutely. So um, she sent me a link um, from her website to set up a consultation, which is a Zoom call. And um, we also, the more we talk, she was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and send you a link to my portal. And so um, she did that, I set it up. We started exchanging um, information and um, I started recording my food log in there. So that way she can see, you know, basically what I'm doing and, and we can communicate in like all in one place. It's really helpful. I really like it. So then Monday comes and I go to my doctor. They run labs. They ask me some questions. And then they said, we would also like for you to go have an ultrasound done. So um, they set that up for me. I got the results back from my labs. The labs showed that I was anemic, which I, I tend to be anyway. Um, but everything else on uh, that they checked, they checked my thyroid, they checked my hormones, they checked all of these things and everything was showing as normal, right? So I'm thinking, okay, that's a good thing. We'll talk about more, we'll talk more about that um, toward the end, but just keep that in mind. My labs said that I am normal. <laughs> uh, I sent all of that information over to Heather. She's looking at it. Okay, so moving on. Um, then I have my ultrasound and my ultrasound revealed that I have um, cysts on both ovaries and I have multiple fibroids in my uterus, which is not, uh, that's not a life or death thing. It just, 
most women have them and they don't even know it until they become a problem. And so that's pretty much where I'm at right now um, is that I have them. And it's funny because when they told me that I had them, I was not surprised at all about the fibroids. I was a little bit about the cysts, but I was like, that explains so much. <laughs> um, where I am right now, as far as labs and all of that information is um, my doctors also wanted me to meet with an obstetrician gynecologist and I have um, I had my appointment set but I was not able to make that appointment because I had another cycle and so um, I'm, I actually currently as of today as of right now I need to call and reschedule that appointment so now we have some insight as to what is going on and um, I had my uh, consultation my even though Heather and I've been talking over the last few weeks um, we had our first official consultation yesterday. But what I love about working with Heather is, like I said, she's extremely knowledgeable about the foods that you need to eat to get your, to get your body to function the way it's supposed to. And which is, I think why she's called a functional <laughs> nutritionist. Um, but the goal here my goal and the reason that I predominantly work, um, reached out to Heather was because I know that whatever it is that I have going on, um, it, it has to be addressed and I do not want to take medication and I do not want surgery. And so that is my goal working with her is that we can take care of these issues without some sort of major intervention by the medical people. Where I'm at now, so I reached out to my cousin, I believe it was July 18th. So, uh, and then I, that's also when I changed my diet because I knew keto is, is a good thing. It's an anti-inflammatory way of eating. That is why I went to it. Um, and I also know that it's good for your hormones. It's good for your thyroid. It's good for lots of different issues. And so that is what, that is why it's my go-to. Um, so I started doing keto. I started exercising with my cousin. Um, and then of course talking to Heather and since then I have lost 16 pounds. So I just had another cycle and it was a lot more normal. I did have some discomfort from on my sides and in my back, but it was nothing like it was last week. And I really feel like it's because I've lost the 16 pounds and I'm eating a lot better. My cousin has me doing um, yoga that are very beneficial for the things that I have going on and they do um, add some relief. So it's, it's just really, I feel like I'm on the right track as far as working out and my food. So yesterday I had my first official uh, video consultation with Heather. We are going to be working together over the next few months and um, she has given me permission to share um, this with you all and her hope is the same that you all will see how using food as your medicine is beneficial. Uh, my video consultation with Heather was awesome yesterday. And there's a couple of things that I wanted to tell you and share with you. One, so you'll know what I'm doing and two, something that you can be on the lookout for yourself when you visit a doctor. Okay, so I mentioned that when I got my labs back that most of my labs showed that I was normal. And so when I shared those labs with Heather, she was like, whoa, wait a minute. This lab is showing that you are deficient in this, you're deficient in this, you're deficient in this. These are the symptoms that you might be showing that you didn't realize were problems. This is what's good. This is what could happen if they're not addressed. This is how we're going to know for sure. And this is what you need to be doing about it. And I'm just like, here, I'm thinking everything's normal, <laughs> but they're clearly not normal. So, um, she was showing that my, my liver function was low, but also my B vitamins were very, very deficient as well as my, uh, of course my iron, but also my iodine levels were very low. And she said, and all of these things actually work together. Um, so they kind of, you know, they, they, they go together. You need the B vitamins to absorb the iron and, and that's also why you need the iodine. That was really interesting, but what frustrated me was how come my doctor didn't say anything? 
And, and then I said, and then how come I'm showing normal on all of these labs? And she said, and this is the part that was like super eye opening for me. She said, whenever your doctor takes labs, it is not an individualized analysis. It is comparing you to people of your age and gender that live in your area. So when your doctor or when your labs are showing that you are normal, they are comparing you to women your age that live in your area. These are not necessarily healthy people that you're being compared to. So you don't want to be normal on your labs. You actually want to be abnormal. You want to be the outlier. You want your numbers to be better than everybody else's. She actually showed me she was able to run my lab numbers um, showing what really is optimal, where I should be, where I would be functioning at an optimal level, not compared to women that live in my area that are overweight, smoke, drink, have diseases, and um, eat a crappy diet. That was just really, really eye opening. I had no idea that that is what whenever you get your labs back and it shows normal. I had no idea that that's what that meant. I don't want to be normal. I want to be, like she says, you want to be an outlier when it comes to things like that. That That's what really frustrated, frustrated me. I don't want to be compared to everybody else. I want to be healthy. I don't want to be compared to my unhealthy neighbor. I want to be healthy for me. One of my concerns that I shared with her, again, if you guys follow my grocery budget, my grocery hauls, you know that right now we are really, really tightening the budget, um, like a lot of you are. And um, and I told her that, you know, I was concerned because we have to eat out of our pantry. We I've got rice and beans and flour and, and all of these other things that are not considered low carb. Um, or anything like that. And she said, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. So what she recommended <clears throat> is if I can be, you know, still keep it low carb, um, but not keto. She said, you don't have to be keto to be successful in this journey um, necessarily. Some people might have to with whatever they're going on, and we'll keep a tab on it. I'm gonna keep uh, logs of what I'm eating, how I'm feeling. Um, that's gonna be huge. That, so that's one thing that I think that she would also recommend, no matter what your journey is, if you're trying to just lose weight, if you're trying to figure out what foods mess with you or how you feel, just keep a log. Keep up with what you're eating, when you're eating it, how you're feeling before you eat it and after you eat it. <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna be doing going forward for a while just to make sure that the foods that I eat aren't making me feel worse or um, exaggerating my symptoms. Uh, we're looking for things that are anti-inflammatory, that are insulin stabilizing, and also hormone um, balancing. So right now my diet is going to be consisting of um, healthy meats, fats, vegetables, mostly cruciferous vegetables. And she said that if I have carbs, that they need to be an accent to the meal. So not overwhelmingly, like not a, not a big plate of spaghetti, you know, but if I have some kind of pasta or rice or sourdough bread or, or something of that nature that it, again, is an accent to the meal and I actually eat it last because, um, and I know I'm going to, I'm going to mess this up how she said it, but basically there is something to eating your fats and your proteins before you eat your carbs. It helps with the, the, your blood sugar not spiking as much, I believe. Um, and so, that, that is what I'm going to be implementing. Um, also, she gave me the green light to whatever carbs I eat, um, if I eat them prepared in a way that is recommended by the Weston A. Price Foundation, soaking, fermenting, um, sprouting, that doing all of those things help to stable your blood sugar and, or your insulin level. 
And so that is what we're gonna be focusing on. All right, so where I'm at right now is, um, or my prescription, <laughs> my, my, uh, my, my true health care, not sick care, my health care is to continue with the gentle movements that my cousin has me doing. Uh, and I will also put her link down below. She works with women and she is awesome. She's wonderful. She has a handy app. She sends your workouts to. Uh, it, con it connects to uh, my fitness pal. It connects to your Apple Watch. Um, and then, so it's really cool that you can you can keep up with everything in one place with her. So that's, that's what I'm doing for the fitness part, for the eating part, keeping it mostly low carb slash Weston A price. Um, slash nourishing traditions, whatever you want to call it, um, staying in that realm, but focusing on healthy fats, healthy proteins, lots of cruciferous vegetables and healthy carbs. And if it's a grain or a legume, making sure that it's properly prepared. So I'll be checking within with you guys, hopefully every Wednesday. I do ask for grace because we're still in a busy season. Um, if I don't get a video up on Wednesday, I will try to get it up, uh, get it to you at some point in the week. But um, also right now, as far as education goes, I'm going to be digging back into Beyond Labels. I'm going to be, kind of be skimming through it to get a, a refresher <laughs> on it, as well as the Nourishing Traditions book, um, just because I want to be healthy. I want my family to be healthy, and I don't want to be normal. I don't want to be normal. That's probably going to be the title of my Wellness Wednesday. <laughs> I don't want to be normal. I don't want my family to be normal. I want us to be optimally healthy. And we can achieve that through eating nourishing foods and exercise and being and educating ourselves on what the numbers mean, what questions to ask, and where to go for that kind of help. So anyway, it's a new season of Wellness Wednesday. We're getting older, y'all. <laughs> oh, we're getting older. We're learning more. We're going to do better. Let me know in the comments, have you ever treated your body with food? If you are interested in talking with Heather for yourself, she does offer a free consultation. Like I said, she is just amazing. She's not paying me to say this. <laughs> I'm just sharing. I'm just sharing because this is new territory for me. And so um, I just wanted to share what the journey is like being treated by a functional nutritionist and um, and and showing that food can really be your medicine. And I, I believe that in my whole heart, I am a, a born again Christian. I believe the Bible. I believe when, um, when God created everything in the first six days that he gave us what we needed to function and to live and to thrive. I believe that with my whole heart. I believe that we as people in our greed have messed it all up and, um, and we need to get back to what he originally intended when he created man or when he created everything. So anyway, so that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you follow along. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hang out with me. I'm also on Instagram. Sometimes I share what I'm cooking. Um, so if you want to hang out with me there, just in case I pop in a sweet little nugget on there, um, then that would be awesome too. Uh, until next time, be vigilant, be prayerful, be prepared. God bless you all and we'll catch you in the next one.